business, you know. I've never been cut before in my life until I got to the NBA, but it's part of the game. You just got to always stay with it and always stay positive. Now, we talked about the efficiency of your shooting tonight, the fact that you were 9 of 12 in the field and you were hitting the trees and hitting your free throws. Well, you know, you know, I, I'm constantly in the gym shooting. Um, I, my shot really feels good right now. Coach Brunson and, um, and Jim, been work, you know, we're constantly in the gym getting shots up. Every day, even on days off, I go, I go in there and get shots up because I feel like if you get more repetition up, you know, the game come, you know, when you get that chance to shoot, it's just like shooting in practice, you know, it just, just gotta knock them down. But it's hard when you don't have regular minutes, and and, you, and today you did. Well, that's why, you know, when I practice, I, I go like I'm in a game. So when the game comes, it's fast. I shoot quick. I, I shoot fast. I, I'm not just catching, taking my time shooting because that's not going to happen in the game. So I, I mentally prepare myself like I'm in the game when I practice. You're a guy, obviously, don't get a lot of opportunities. So when you do and have a game like this, I mean, is it personally special? Just, I mean, I know it's obviously a team thing, but is there something to it? No, you know, I just, I just want to come out here and play hard for my team. Um, you know, just uh, individually, it was good, a good game for me, but it doesn't. That doesn't mean nothing to me. It's all about winning. And you know, I got one thing on my mind, and that's to win. You know, I don't care if I score four, five, five points, twenty-five. As long as we win, I'm, I'm, happy. I'm the most happiest guy on this team. How about Miami? You know, there's so much made with the potential. You know, matchup last year, conference finals, and now. So, is it more special? You know, whether they're explained or not, you know, play them. And no, you know, like we take it as another game. You know, like Till said, like he's expecting us to know because Derrick went down. We shouldn't hold our heads down there. You know, it's time for us to step up as a team. You know, our captain went down, so let's step up and make him and make him proud. And Derrick pep talked with everybody. I was like, yo, let's go. Like, it's just another game. Let's go out there and play our game. And when you have your captain telling you that, and I know how bad he wanted to play this game. Everybody knows how bad he wanted to play. So, you know, it was just it was just good. You know that we got to win. Because it wasn't just a win for our team, but it's also a win for him because we know he wants to be out there competing. So if you were in China a couple years ago, were you, did you the mindset that you're going to be back in the NBA someday? Or Absolutely. Something? Absolutely. You know, I, you know, I've been all over. I've been to Spain, been to Italy, and China, and I knew, you know, when that opportunity was going to come for me to get back in the league, I was going to make the best of it. Um, <laughs> It's just something I, I love the game of basketball. I love it. So I would never stop. You know, the ultimate this is the highest level. So I'm always going to shoot for the highest level, even if I'm overseas. And then I'm, you know, I love the game. When you practice, do you practice with the idea that LeBron James is going to be guarding you? No, I, I, just, I, just, I just go out there and, and go 100% in practice. You know, even if it's individual workout, I'm always constantly, I, I, I try to black out. And what I mean, I mean that's something we say back home in the summertime. You just work so hard until you just tired when you can't even go no more. Because when the game comes, you are mentally there and you've been training to go to go hard. So it's not like you you're getting winded or you're falling back. You right there. Oh, what was it like so, having LeBron on you though? Just, like just, just, just another guy? Just another guy, you know. Just another guy. Was it, uh, was it tough in China to keep your, your shooting routine up, or are there enough gyms for you to go yeah, in? Yeah, enough gyms. You know, I used to go to college late at night and shoot. Uh, go to the uh, Four Seasons. They had a, a gym there, so I used to go shoot there, do my pool workouts and stuff. I had my friend Alan, who I met over there, a, a good friend of mine, who constantly was in the gym with me, rebounding for me. And I made, I, I made a bond of friends. I made a, a gang of friends over there, you know, who, who constantly was in the gym. And we would just shoot, you know, play horns. Uh, i get my 150 shots up a day. But, you know, when I found they had a gun, I was in my routine like I was in the summer. 100 twos, a spot, 100 threes, a spot. So I'm getting 2,000 shots up a day. Give me that thing that 